everybody. My name is Patrick Landry. I'm working for Case IH as a product specialist for Howard's Power and Combine in Eastern Canada. Behind me, we have the brand new 715 Stagger tractor that we just launched at the uh, Farm Progress show this year, a few weeks ago. As you can see, we have the uh, new hood styling and we are really proud to present this tractor to the Wokestock Farm Show this year. I will say what is really particular, it's right now in the world, it's the uh, tractor who's having the most of the uh, high horsepower engine available. 715 uh, engine horsepower with the uh, power peak it goes to uh, 778 engine horsepower and the torque we are getting roughly 2400 pounds per foot at 1400 engine rpm which is it's really really good versus what we were having in the past with the other stagger tractor how we achieve that it's because this new Stagger 715 is equipped with the 15.9 liter engine that we are currently using in the Class 9 flagship combine. The power boost, it's like the peak horsepower and it's not new for this year. It's something we have since many years and I will say the power boost will engage with some specific criteria. It means the ground speed needs to be at a certain uh, speed before it's going to kick in. Uh, also, you, uh, another criteria is um, you need to uh, work with the tractor with one of the hydraulic remote in constant flow or hydraulic motor mode. Some other tractor, maybe not the stagger, but some other tractor is the PDO needs to be on and the tractor needs to move forward. And if the torque sensor on the flywheel is seeing like a torque, the power boost will kick in. It means you need to have one of those three criteria for having the power boost engage on the tractor. We increase a lot of the engine power available for specific application like pulling big plant or big air cart, air seeder, uh, big tillage implement behind the tractor. It's not because you have a lot of horsepower that they are gonna go to the ground, correct? And it's one of the reason also we, we change few things about the track system. Uh, we increase the um, traction wheel who's running the tracks. Uh, we have now always four, instead four traction lug engage all the time. Now we have five traction lug engage in the drive wheel, making sure we are putting the power on the ground. We beef up a few pieces on the uh, quad track under a carriage, making sure that the system will handle the uh, extra power that we are giving now to, to the tractor. Another thing we did is we increased the uh, fuel uh, capacity. Now we have uh, above a little bit above than 500 gallons, US gallons of fuel tank capacity making sure the tractor will stay longer in the field for the long, long, long day. And another, I will say, enhancement that we did on this brand new tractor, it's the uh, working lights. We have more lumen uh, versus what we were used to it on the uh, current Stagger uh, tractor product line. And uh, I think by memory, we are around 14 or 15 person more lumen around the tractor for uh, when he's working really late during those days. Mm -hmm.